Hi everyone, I'm here today to show you a card from start to finish. I'm making a Father's Day card using some Lawn Fawn stamp sets from their newest release. I'm using Dad's Day and Belinda's Border. Um, my blue nails are freaking me out. For the first time in like 15 years I decided to paint my nails, so I'm still not used to having paint on my nails. But I'm going to create, I don't do sketches or anything in advance, so you're just going to kind of see me wing it here. But I decided I wanted to create a, a my own pattern down the side of that card, so I'm going to grab one of the the images from Belinda's Borders and create a little chevron kind of pattern. I'm going to be using these three browns. This is a masculine card for Father's Day, so I'm going to try to keep the, the, the card really kind of tone on tone. I'm grabbing some washi tape now to just hold my card in place um, while I stamp my, my pattern there. I'm using the shadow ink um, wet cement. I'm a big fan of this shadow ink. I purchased a few and um, I'm totally hooked, so I'm gradually building up my my collection until I have all of the colors. Um, I just placed another order with Simon Says Stamp, and I think there's four or five more colors in there. And I really love this wet cement on the uh, on the craft base. Uh, Melissa Shea is the one that introduced me to that little color combination. That's actually what made me buy the wet cement. Uh, but anyway, so there I did. I went ahead and created this little background. I'm grabbing some baby wipes to wipe off my stamp. And then I'm going to take that chair from the Dad's Day set and I'm going to stamp it with some shadow ink. I've got a video ready to uh, go on shadow inks, show you how they work and, and the difference between shadow inks and maybe regular other dye inks on the market. Um, but I just am a big fan of shadow inks, especially for background images and solid images such as this chair set. You get such great coverage. When you stamp it, it's kind of splotchy as you'll see, but when it dries it's completely smooth. It's really neat. Um, you'll probably see it dry here on camera. So I went ahead and wanted to, to kind of stamp that chair like Dad. And I'll have some really fun ideas for using the stamp set, but I don't know if it would necessarily work for a man. So um, stay tuned for some more cards using using the chair. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to stamp up the uh, the sentiment "Happy Dad's Day" on the bottom again using the wet cement. And now I decided, you know, this I really want to get some kind of shot of color in here. So I'm going to take this hemp from Lawn Fawn. This is the three pack, and I love that she packaged it on the spools, um, so you can you can keep it in the packaging. Um, but I'm just putting down a really thin line of some glossy accents, and then I'm going to just uh, put. I think here I did maybe three or four strands of twine, but at the end off camera I ended up adding one more. Um, Nothing really fancy going on here. That glossy accent dries clear and it really holds things in place. All right, so I'm going to, oh, it looks like I needed to add a little bit more right there. I wanna make sure, this is going in the mail so I'm also, um, being very conscientious about leaving the bulk off this card. Um, I don't, I'm cheap and I don't like to pay extra postage. <laughs> so uh, anyway, you see I made a little boo-boo on the back of that uh, card. I'm going to show you how I fixed that in a little bit. Uh, but there, I've added a nice shot of color. Um, I wanted to really use that mustache in that set. Somehow, it's just so fun. So I stamped it onto white with the wet cement. You can see how the wet cement on the white kind of has like a gray-brown color. Um, it's really cool. So I went ahead and cut that out and I tied a bow using the same hemp that I used on the card. And uh, I'm going to apply a little dab of glossy accents and I'm going to put that bow down. Um, and if you put something heavy on it and walk away for a couple minutes and come back, it's going to be dry. Um, it is a really good adhesive. It's your, your, your items are not going anywhere. <laughs> when you use glossy accents. So I'm going to do the same thing with the mustache. I don't want to put a lot there because I don't want it to saturate into the cardstock. But um, I'm going to use that acrylic block to hold it down off camera and then when I come back it'll be nice and dry. And I'm just going to kind of peel up the edges of that mustache because you know some guys do have their little mustaches peeled up off their face. Um, there's the boo-boo I made on the back so I basically just cut another piece of cardstock to fit and I'm just going to adhere it right over. 
and then nobody will ever know I made a mistake. I'm going to take that sweet stamp shop stamp set made by and I promise you at some point I'm going to use some of the other sentiments but I really am in love with that one sentiment. Don't wait, no, don't trash me. I was handmade by and I'll sign my name. Um, I just love it. It's so fun. Now what I did do off camera was I put a strip of washi tape along the top of the card. You'll see it here in just a second um, just for some added color. Uh, so. Uh, there you go. I hope you enjoyed uh, this card using the Lawn Fawn and then the Sweet Stamp Shop Made by Stamp set. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. And to all the dads out there, happy Father's Day. Thanks for watching. Bye.